Simply stunning new findings about kids and their gizmos and gadgets, the texting, the tweeting, the watching TV. What does it really mean for school? Here's Bill Weir. Researchers have seen the future, and they're all watching YouTube. All you guys have laptops? Yeah. yeah. Cell phones? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Facebook pages? Yeah. yeah. Right? According to this study, the average kid sponges in two and a half hours of music each day, along with almost five hours of TV and movies, almost three hours of internet and video games, and 38 minutes of good old-fashioned reading. That's 75 hours of media a week. Oh, and it doesn't include the hour and a half spent text messaging each day and the half hour chatting on the cell phone, just one of the gadgets that makes all of this possible. You don't have to sit down in front of a TV anymore and watch television at the time a show is broadcast. The kids can watch it on their laptop in their bedroom. They can watch it on their cell phone on the bus on the way to school. Now, as for homework? If you are trying to study and you on Facebook, you get really distracted. Turns out that multitasking has a price. Among the heaviest media users, about half get C's or lower in school, while only a quarter of light users report bad grades. You get a Facebook page? No. 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 Why not, Mom? It's still a little too young. With watchful parents, 10-year-old Katie Semak is in the minority. Only around a third of the kids surveyed say their parents put limits on TV or computer use. But in houses with even minimal guidelines, kids' media consumption drops by nearly three hours a day. When parents set guidelines, it actually has an impact. When I was a kid, <laughs> we actually played with sticks. There's no putting the digital genie back in the bottle. Hey, maybe a virtual stick. A virtual <laughs> stick. So the best you can hope for, Mom and Dad, a little more moderation. Bill Weir, ABC News, New York.